kwenye moja kati ya episode ya Spotlight 2022 tulizungumza na mtu mzima Harmonize Honda boy mwenyewe tulimuuliza maswali kadhaa na leo tunaenda na wale kadhaa ambao ni mazuri lakini pia ilifanya vizuri na watu wali enjoy pia kuyajua kwanza tulizungumza na mtu mzima Harmonize kuhusiana na swala la ngoma yake ya mwenyewe kwa sababu ngoma ilikuwa na ujumbe mzito sana lakini watu walipokea kwa ukubwa zaidi kutokana na ule uzito wa ujumbe uliokuwa mule ndani so tukamuuliza Harmonize vipi ilikuwaje akaandika ule wimbo idea ya mwenyewe ilitokea wapi na alitujibu hivi uh... No matter what I'm going through, no matter what, no matter what I'm facing, no matter what, I cannot forget where it came from. You understand? Uh, every single lyric you you hear in a Munyewe song is a true story of me, and I know that my life, my story life, is gonna inspire a lot of people. You understand? Uh, that's why I'm doing it. That's why I'm open. That's why I'm even I'm not even feeling shy like to tell to tell people to tell the world where I came from. You understand? Like. Nimezaliwa hapa nikawa hivi so I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to push your energy and believe that you can do it you understand because this is real harmonize true to where I came from before I became harmonize I was rajabu and that's where I came from so I want everybody to go and watch that song and be inspired you understand and just do it keep doing what you do kama wewe ni funisere mahala doing it kama wewe ni boda boda doing it kama wewe ni bajaji doing it kama wewe una fundi idea doing it because all those things I've been through bro I've been through, you understand a lot. So that's the reason. So I thank God what I'm able to send a video and I'm able to send a nimbo. They want to drop it in the album. Made for us. Made for us album. So everyone loves the song. So it shows me like I'm a writer. I'm in the right spot. I'm in the right way. Hatukuishia hapo. Tukamuuliza Konde boy. Yeye waga anatoa hit song nyingi sana. Yeye anaweza akatoa ngoma leo ikawa hit, akatoa album ngoma karibu zote zikawa hit song. So tukatamani kujua ni ipi siri ya tembo ya kuweza kutoa hit songs back to back. I never sit it down and count this is hit song this is not. Whatever song you hear from me, it's just something calm on my body, my mind and just topping it. I'm recording a lot, you understand? But I don't know which is which one is going to be favorite, people's favorite song <laughs> that's me and i don't even really care about it because like najua ukiwa una focus ukiwa mind yako ni ku make a hit song um you will be disappointed kwa sababu sio kila nyimbo utakaye toa watu wanaipenda but if your mindset is to make a great music you're going to have a billions of hit songs because what matters is nice music good music and that's it you know saying that's what i care about i don't care If I drop a song today, if you feel like you're loving it, if you feel like this is a hit song, I don't care. I don't count them. As long as I'm dropping good music, that's it for me. Hatukutaka kumwacha kinyonge nyonge tu eti aondoke kiraisi hivyo. No. Tukataka kujua. Konde ni moja kati ya mtu ambaye ana appreciate sana talents za watu like akiona unafanya vizuri, lazima atakupongeza, lazima atakuambia uendelee ku push na nini, atakupa collab, akiona collab haitoshi, atakusign kwenye record label yake na nini atakusaidia. Lakini mwisho wa siku feedback zinakujaga kuwa mbaya, acharagi na wale watu vizuri. So tukataka kujua vipi anavyokuaga anasaidia watu alafu mwisho wa siku anakuja kumjibu vibaya ama kumsema vibaya ama kuishia kuwa na uadui naye. Huwa anachukua kuliaje ilo swala akatujibu hivi nah, I cannot be disappointed from human beings I'm too old for that I know human beings that can be perfect Okay huyo well, alikuwa ni mtu mzima harmonize on to the next person tuko na mtu mzima brother man Dolly Sykes Prince Dolly Sykes brother man mwenyewe tulipata nafasi ya kuzungumza na legend huyo legend kwenye moja kati ya episode kwenye spotlight Siri yako ni niku kabla mrefu katika muziki lakini pia kitu gani ambacho kinakuwa kinakupelekea kuweza kusaidia wasanii wengine kwa sababu muziki ulinichagua na mimi nimeuchagua muziki na mimi kuamua kusaidia vijana hii ni kutengeneza wanasema rasilimali watu mimi natengeneza watu ambao baadaye watakuja kunisaidia Okay, basi baada ya kuzungumza na Prince Nudi Sykes brother man na kuona kila kitu ambacho alihusika nacho ama alikiongea kwenye spotlight moja kati ya episode ambayo alikuwa amealikwa huko ndani. Ah pia tulipata nafasi ya kuzungumza na Gigi Mane, Gigi Mahera, Mama Mayura, Gigi ni kiki mwenyewe mwenyewe anajiita ni expensive divine town. So, tukatamani kujua kwenye maisha ya Gigi ni kitu gani ambacho uwaga kinamchukulia pesa yake nyingi sana and like wana spend pesa nyingi sana kwenye hicho kitu na gigi akatuambia hivi my life takes a lot of money i don't like stress so i take a lot of alcohol sometimes and mimi pombe na kunywa is not a 
cheap thing you know if you want to make a kenya chuchuk the chuchuk in the bay sana i'm not on promo so i can say what i drink ila jopo mna kwemi is very expensive so it takes me my money and makeup i love makeup i like i like looking differently and weird i like to look you see my hair yeah so na badisha nywele kila siku na pombe inaisha kila saa Okay, sasa nyingi tukatamani kujua. Ni mtu ambaye uoga akipenda anapenda kweli anaeka mahusiano wazi. Uoga hawezi kuficha ficha mahusiano yake, hapendagi mambo ya sui private relationship. No, uoga hapendi. Sasa tukatamani kujua. Baada ya kuachana na mtu ambaye amekuwa naye kwenye mahusiano kwa muda mrefu, amempost kwenye mitandao, watu wanajua yuko naye. Uoga anachukua muda gani ku move on kutoka kwenye mahusiano na mtu mmoja na ku fall in love na mtu mwingine? Yeye yeah, akasema hivi. Eka tano kama kweli nimemwona nataka ku move kama stuck is chukui sekunde i'm going back to the guy yeah lakini kama kweli itakuwa chana mtu 5 minutes not only kusahau zangana wasana mapi Okay lakini tulipata nafasi ya kuzungumza na Mwijaku. Unajua Mwijaku ni msemaji wa mahusiano ya watu, msemaji wa maisha ya watu, DC wa Instagram. Anajuaga mambo yote ambayo yanaendelea kwa sababu sio DC, so lazima ajue vitu ambavyo vinaendelea Instagram, maisha ya wasanii. Anajua vitu vingi sana. So tukaona kwa nini tusimvutie waya. Tuzungumze naye mawili matatu ambayo yanaendelea kwenye mitandao kuhusiana na wasanii na watu mbalimbali ambao yuko attached nao. Pamoja na vile vitu ambavyo mwenyewe alikuwa ameviaidi. So moja kati ya kitu ambacho Mwijaku aliahidi kwamba alisema Angela akitoka Konde Gang atamchukua atamsaidia yani mke wake atampa pesa na ataweza kumsponsor na kumsaidia kabisa yani like kumpush kimuziki. Sasa tukamuuliza Angela ameshatoka Konde Gang vipi plani za kumsaidia mtoto wa watu au aliongea tu kujichekesha kujifurahisha? Mmoja akiwaeleza ya kwamba bado na bado basata hajamaliza. Umeona account yake Instagram amerudishiwa, YouTube amerudishiwa, Boom Play amerudishiwa. Bado basata hajakamilisha. Wakamilisha basata. Mke wangu anamuingizia milioni 20 kwanza ya kujisafisha kwa sababu anasubiri makubaliano ya wakuri ya kishaisha aje huko anamaliza mke wangu anamsaidia mimi mke wangu ana hela CPA unajua CPA yeye hiyo ndio muhasibu mku. taifa lenyewe linamtegemea taifa lina yule anaitwa Malawi kwenda kufanya auditing za makampuni makubwa huko nyimi mmekaa hapa mna kenoko kenoko menu Ya yeah, mimi mwenyewe nilikuwa surprised sana alivyosema kwamba Angela hajatoka Konde Gang lakini uh, watu wengine tulikuwa tunajua ameshatoka kwa sababu mpaka Harmonize alikuwa amemuaga na nini lakini ndio hivyo mjaku akawa ameeleza kwamba bado hajapewa digital platform zake and stuff so I don't know about that by the way acha tuone atafika wapi lakini uh, tukamuuliza mjaku yeye waga anajisifia sana kwamba waga anahongwa na mke wake nini anapewaga vitu na mke wake tukatamani tujue sasa ni kitu gani cha thamani ambacho alishawahi kumnunulia mke wake ama kumpa zawadi mke akasema hivi nimenua mchele na marage nyumbani kila mwisho wa mwezi nanunua mchele na marage kilo 25 mchele na marage bwa 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 kila mwisho wa mwezi anakula naenda chooni cha thamani mheshimu mtu anajali tumbo lako Atukishia hapo tukamuuliza pia kuhusiana na mahusiano ya mtu mzima uh, Zuchu pamoja na Diamond Platinum kwamba vipi kwa upande wake yani ni si lakini pia yuko karibu na mtu mzima Diamond Platinum so anaona kuna kitu ambacho kinapelekea wawili hao kufunga ndoa ama mahusiano yao yataishia juu juu akatupa nyipi ya ndugu yetu akatuambia kwanza nikwambie kitu kimoja wanasema usipona ya Musa utaona Firauni na usipona ya Firauni utaona ya Musa Yaani yule bwana kote alipozunguruka <laughs> kia kwa kukia kwa kituko kile. Maana yule mtu anasema kituko. Hebu ye mzumu kwenye kichocha kwa Hamisa Mobeto. <clears throat> Hamisa Mobeto mtamu kuanzia kwenye utosi mpaka kwenye unyayo, mtamu. Hakuna hata sehemu moja ukamkuta kwa uchungu. Alafu yule mpumbavu kwenda kwa mkia kwa nani? <clears throat> Zuchu. Yaani ukimwangalia kwa Hamisa ingia hata ukucha. Kwa Tanasha ingii. Kwa Zaria ingii na ule kuna msichana mmoja uko Mburati na alitembea naye mwambie anaitwa Mwadawa haingii na kuna msichana mmoja wa Morogoro anaitwa Kidawa haingii tapia kuna ndoa pale yule anasafiria upepo ule binti anajua anaimba ili nisimpoteze wacha nimnganganie hapa ili niendelee kusavii na nisaka huyu alichokifanya Mwambido alichokifanya Kofi Olomide legendary wa muziki baada ya kuona yule Cindy anajua kuimba akaona nimfanya wewe mke wangu. Okay, so tukao tumemalizana na DC wa Instagram mwijaku. Maana ukiendelea kuongea naye anaweza kagumbanisha na watu. Maana waga anaongea ndugu yenu. Ai, yani like yo, dakika mbili nyingi tayari kashakuharibu kwa kuvuruga kwa kumaliza. Lakini uh, kwenye spotlight kulikuwa na episodes ambazo tulikuwa na comedian ni huko ndani na lengo lilikuwa ni kumfurahisha mtazamaji wetu. Ucheke uenjoy. So kila siku tunapiga piga tu stories za serious. No. 
alafu mwishoni mwishoni kabisa alafu mwishoni mwishoni kabisa tukamualika the classic fun guy mwenyewe the guy mwenyewe anaitwa ah Mtu mzima job master. Job master naye alikuwa na jambo lake huko ndani. Tulicheka sana bwana. Hali ilikuwa ni one of the best show. Alafu ilikuwa ni juma tano tu hapo tumezungumza naye. So it was amazing. Nataka ukaone one of the best kipande ambacho alikizungumza na kilikuwa kinachekesha sana kwenye show. Alafu we'll be right back. Mm-hmm. One of the weirdest moment ambazo ulishaikutana nazo kwenye mahusiano. Mama tukio ushaipigwa na mwanamke kwenye mahusiano. Mimi niambia sina ya. Okay. Niliacho. Na sio wa kwanza nilianzaga na mzuri mtu mzuri wa mwindi kwa mwindi wewe sopo wewe kwa mimi hatari wewe kwa demu mwindi huyo yeye mwindi tumeanza naye mapenzi lakini ya shule ya kipindi hicho kaniacha kaenda kwa mwindi mwenzake aliniuma sana nikasema mimi nitakuja kani toboe kwa siku yote sajifanya mwindi lakini hata ukitoboe huwezi kwa mwindi hawezi kwa mwindi jo akaniacha <laughs> Lakini nikapata demu mwingine tu Nasra Bad Shock wewe. Mbona napendana sana? Nae kaniacha. Hela hiyo hiyo. Sio mimi, wewe ni mimi ndio mimi. Lakini um nikuja kuja tonight tena kaniacha kwa sababu ya hela. Lakini mimi nachoshukuru Mungu kuna ule msema anasema kwamba um kwenye mwanaume yote mwenye mafanikio nyuma yake kuna mwanamke. Mwanamke sio ambaye una date naye kabisa ambaye eti ndo mwanamke a a ni mwanamke ambaye amekuumiza. Yaani mimi napoumizwaga ndo nafanya. Maybe bila yule kuniacha mimi si ngikuwa na zega ile. Okay. Kwa hiyo mimi nafanya vitu hivi kwamba nikutie hasira kwamba ni kunyoshe mtu mzuri kuna siku mimi ndio yeye nitoboe ndio nitafute. Utanitafuta. Mpaka sasa hivi shatafuta na Wengi sana. Okay. So don't be timid. Sio siku dangaya dada. Kiicho kutuache katu kaenda watu baki ukatoka watu baki kurudi katu. Tamaa. Okay guys, so spotlight ya leo ilikuwa imelenga ku review vile vipindi ambavyo vilikuwa ni one of the best uh, moments ambazo tulikuwa nazo huko ndani kwenye spotlight kwa mwaka 2022 lakini nataka niwaambie kwamba spotlight team zima ya spotlight hapa namzungumzia chika mwenyewe Ben Talented pamoja na director wetu mtu mzima Halfani Ngozi tumejipanga vizuri sana kuhakikisha ya kwamba 2023 aiwi ya kinyonge yani aiwi 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 the same yani unaona hizi burudani ambazo tumeandalia mwaka 2022 hiyo ilikuwa ni introduction introduction lakini mwaka 2023 23 23 tumejipanga kisawasawa. Yaani katika kitu ambacho utakuwa una enjoy ni spotlight. Kuicheke spotlight ndani ya ST Bongo. Kila siku za Jumatatu mpaka Ijuma 12 kamili jioni mpaka 12 na nusu jioni tutakuwa tukikutana hapa kuzipiga zile story ambazo zina trend interviews kali na Jamani, nirudie tumejipanga kisawa sawa kuhakikisha kwamba tunazidi kukupa burudani ya nguvu na ya kutosha sana. So, zidi kuwa pona mama na familia wa ST Bongo lakini pia tunakushukuru kwa kuzidi kuwa mwana familia wa Spotlight. Guys, mimi naitwa Chi. Mechoka. 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 Eta mikono mwili. Usishushe.
tu coiffé Name me at your stocky Nanda wape Zanzibar wamechoka Wanajua mimi nimeagizwa na hii uagizo siwezi kulifuza hata siku moja. Hapa paka nyonye mseme simba tumekoma. Mna nguvu? Mna uwezo? Tuendelee. Vas! <laughs> 